Welcome to the Jewel of the Seas. This is Jason here. I'm gonna do a full walkthrough ship tour. You're gonna enjoy it. This is an amazing ship. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of Deck 11. To the left over here is the Solarium and the Solarium Bar. Right here is the main pool area. In the back here is the buffet area. And then if we go all the way to the back, that's the outside seating area. Let's head on over to the main pool area. It's right here, midship. A lot of action and activities happen here at the main pool. It's a fun area to hang out in. A lot of people love to come here the first day and grab a drink, chill out and relax, and wait for the sail away party. Here in the main pool, you're gonna find a pool, a couple of whirlpools, a stage where you're gonna enjoy live music and DJs, and a huge screen where you're gonna be able to watch sporting events and other activities. Both of the whirlpools are on the right side of the pool. They have a perfect view of the screen and the stage. It's nice to come over here to the pool bar, grab a drink, maybe hang out in the whirlpool, watch the screen, check out the activities. It's an exciting area. Right above the main pool bar is the sky bar. And I really like this bar because it has a view of the entire pool deck here. You can watch movies under the stars from here. You can check out the activities. You can also see what's going on down in the main pool area. Let's head on up a little bit and take a look at the solarium. Here in the solarium, you'll find a more relaxing setting. It's an adult only area. You're not gonna find live music or a DJ here. You're gonna find that at the main pool area. So this area is more for people who just like to come and chill. It's completely enclosed, so you're protected from the elements. There is a cafe right over here. This is the park cafe where you can grab a sandwich, a coffee, a snack, or a soup and salad. Directly across from the park cafe on the other side of the pool is the solarium bar. Very convenient. You can grab a refreshing drink right here. Let's head on in to the Windjammer Cafe. This is the buffet area. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have a wide variety of different types of entrees. There is also a main dining room downstairs, which we'll check out in a little bit. Now keep in mind that the Jewel of the Seas is part of the Radiance class. There are plenty of ships in that class and I have links to current sailings down below description of the video. If you want to book either one of those ships, make sure you give me a call. And there's a reason why. What we do is amazing and our clients love us. We provide special savings. We provide the savings in addition to the promotions that you receive from the cruise line. And we do this in many different ways. We have our own block space that we book years in advance. Royal Royal Caribbean actually offers us incentives to give to you and we provide you with our own exclusive agency savings. Give us a call. You'll be so happy that you did. Just keep in mind that to get these savings, you must give us a call. These rates are not posted on our website. These are unpublished rates. All the way in the back here is the outside seating area for the buffet. It has really good views out of the back of the ship. Over here, you're gonna find Rita's Cantina. This is the Tex-Mex restaurant. It's part of the specialty dining. Let's go up to deck 12. Right here is the jogging track. To the right is the main pool area. Right here is Adventure Beach, the basketball court. If you look up, that is the mini golf. Right here is Izumi, and all the way to the back is, would be the outside seating area for the buffet. Let's go to Adventure Beach. This is a kid's pool area. There's a really cool slide which goes all the way around a little pool where little toddlers and babies can splash around in. Right across from Adventure Beach is the basketball court. It's a half court, and they do offer other activities here throughout the cruise. There's a bridge that goes in between Adventure Beach and the half basketball court, and it leads right to the rock climbing wall. Keep in mind that you will need closed toe shoes to play on the basketball court and on the rock climbing wall. Directly across on the other side of the bridge is the mini golf. The mini golf goes all the way around the back of the ship, which makes it really, really cool. So there will be people coming in and going out at the same time. Directly below the mini golf is Azumi. This is the sushi bar and Japanese restaurant. It's part of the specialty dining. The way the specialty works is, is that there is an additional charge. You do not have to dine in any of the specialty restaurants. There are plenty of complimentary dining venues available. Here in the arcade, change is not required. You'll just need a key card. So folks, if you want your kids to be able to play the games here, make sure you turn their key card on. This is Vortex. This is a nice area to relax and enjoy a drink during the day. It has panoramic views of the main pool area. Also, this is the nightclub. 
there's a dance floor, a little place for a DJ, and so at night, it really gets going. Let's head on down to deck six. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. Right here is the theater. To the right here is the pit stop. This is the casino. All the way through the casino on the left is Vintages. If we go through here, to the right is Chops Grill, Gooner Bar, and then Giovanni's. All the way to the back is the Safari Club, which has a few different venues. Here in the Safari Club, you can come all the way to the back and there is a really cool bar right here. So let's take a better look at the Safari Club. When you first walk in, there are gyroscopic pool tables, which means they are self-leveling, which is really cool. Right in front of the pool tables is a nice lounge where you can relax at the bar and play a couple of games of chess if you like. Over here is a seating area with a stage. You're gonna enjoy late night dancing shows also the comedians will perform here there's a bar all the way here at the back which has really cool panoramic views if you'd like a prime cut of steak then head on over to chops grill this is the steakhouse it is part of the specialty dining if you would like to know the pricing of specialty dining then check out the link that i posted down below the description of the video over here is giovanni's this is a family rustic style italian restaurant it's also part of the specialty dining keep in mind that there are plenty of complimentary dining venues available to you specialty just gives you the option right in between these two restaurants is schooner bar here you'll enjoy live music the piano player will come in a lot of people like to sit around sing along and he will take requests over here is Vintages. This is the wine bar. There is comfortable seating all around the bar. You'll find nice sofas and chairs. You can grab a drink on either side of the bar. Keep an eye out for one of their wine tastings. It's a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the casino. You'll find everything here. Card tables, slots, roulette, crap. You can get into a tournament. They offer tournaments throughout the cruise, usually on sea days. For example, you can get into a blackjack or a Texas Hold'em tournament. They have a really cool bar right here if you want to just grab a drink and check out the action. Keep in mind that the casino is not open on port day. It's only open when you are out to sea. Right in front of the casino, headed more toward the front of the ship, is the pit stop. This is where you're gonna go if you want to catch a sporting event. You'll find plenty of racing memorabilia throughout the bar. Also, it is a really cool bar to stop in before you go to the theater. Or if you just wanna hang out with the fellas or the families and catch a game, it is the perfect spot. Right in front of the pit stop is the cinema. You can just grab a seat in one of these chairs and watch the movie on the screen. The movies will be played throughout the entire cruise. Over here is the Coral Theater. Here in the theater, you can catch a wide variety of shows and enjoy activities. For example, you can watch musicals, magic shows. If you've booked a short excursion through the cruise line, you'll meet up in here, usually pretty early, but they do have later excursions, so uh, you can check that out on the app. I'm gonna give you a quick preview of Deck 5. Right here is the art gallery and focus. Right after that are the stores. Behind the stores is Latitudes and Next Cruise. And then all the way in the back is the main dining room. Let's take a look at the main dining room. This is Tides. The main dining room is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is complimentary, so it is included in your cruise fare. Your dining times for dinner will be either early or late dining, or you can do my time dining. If you do my time dining, you can go in any time for dinner that the restaurant is open. If you do an early or a late dining, then you'll have to go in at those times. Folks, while you're on board, make sure you stop by next cruise. They have awesome deals available if you're looking to book another cruise. And then give us a call so we can provide you with additional savings. Over here is Latitudes. This is the specialty coffee bar. You can also grab a delicious snack. I like to drop in right before I go out to port. I like to get a sandwich and a coffee. Right here are the shops. They offer awesome deals while you're on board. Keep an eye out for those deals. They have good prices on watches and jewelry. Right in front of the shops is the photo and the art gallery. Here you're gonna find the photos that the photographers took of you while you were on board. 
also enjoy an art auction. You can take any of those works of art with you. Right in the center of the ship, here on deck four, you're gonna find the heart of where a lot of the music is coming from. Here, you'll find a stage, the lobby bar, guest services, and the shore excursions. Over here is Voom. This is where you can get help if you need or have an issue connecting to the Wi-Fi. This is the spa. You can enjoy a full service spa and a huge fitness center. The fitness center offers everything. You can find free weights, machines, stair masters, treadmills. You could also get into a yoga or a spinning class. It's always good on the first day of the cruise to come in and take a full tour of the spa and the gym. Over here is a sauna and a steam room. These are available in the locker room and in both the men and the women. The steam room and the sauna are free in the locker room. However, if you would like a more relaxing area, you can come on in over to these relaxation suites where you can find a more formal, relaxing steam room with beautiful views. There is also an aromatic steam room which has nice smells which really clears the sinuses. Thank you for joining me on the tour. This is Jason. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give me a call. Have a wonderful day.